Hello and welcome to this extraordinary and technologically advanced episode of This Junkies. Today, we have a very special guest with us and I am Radhima Rana, your host for today. Today, we have Mr. Yash Sharma with us to talk about Web 3.0 and NFT. Welcome, sir. It's, be, it's a pleasure to host you on this show. So, to begin with, I would just ask you what this Web 3.0 actually is because we have been listening about this term since a long time now. Right. Yeah. So, uh, before I jump into the conversation about like talking about Web 3.0, so we have to first understand that what actually Web 1, Web 1.0 or like you can say Web 1 or Web 2 was and now what actually going to be happen in Web 3. So, Web 3 is not just like something that came right now, it's like something which we are going through, right? So, Web 1 was like uh, all the information which you are getting. So, uh, from like static website pages, I would say in a very layman term, I would say just like HTML pages were there, all the information was there, like hard coded and you can get all the information on the front and you can read all that information but you were not able to change upload anything uh, in that era right so like you have a newspaper you can read anything but you can't actually contribute to it to write something right so similarly was in the web one there was internet there was html pages there were static pages you can go and read about it but you can write something on then uh, it was the era right uh, the like bunch of websites came in and everyone get to know about the internet get access to the internet then we came into the web 2.0 where like uh, uh, which which made it accessible to everyone to read and write both yeah. like uh, YouTube where you can actually watch videos where also you can upload your own videos too right Instagram where you can actually connect to the world you can upload your images also you can actually check out other images too right yeah. it which became actually, dynamic basically. exactly it became dynamic right so instead of st static we moved into the uh, era of the dynamic things but later at the stage, like uh, with going forward, you know, like how technology is evolving, we started compromising our privacy with that. Okay. So, for example, if you are putting your uh, your image on Instagram, uh, uploading your image on Instagram, you are not the one who is actually owning your data, right? So, your whole image, the images, your whole data is on the Instagram database, right? Yeah. So, uh, uh, what actually you are doing that you are actually compromising your data, yeah. you are giving your privacy to someone, some, someone else's in hand. Uh, for example, you are signing up with Google on any other website you are actually compromising your privacy in that case okay so uh, like you have your own data but actually you don't own it right yeah. you are just giving it away to these large companies yeah. and they are taking a benefit out of it uh, so that was actually web 2.0 right and that was that's a huge uh, huge uh, uh, drawback in the web 2.0 that there is no privacy no security in your data right Three. then web 3.0 came in and web 3.0 is more about the ownership community and only your own data right like i'd say own ownership right so when we entered into the web 3.0 it's more about like the same features which we had in 2.0 keeping all of those features keeping all those accessibilities uh, in here but making it like access uh, like giving your own data back to you which means that these companies like google microsoft like all these companies do not sh should not own your data but you should your own your own data you should have the control on your uh, on your own data on a, uh, like uh, for reference your own money with the like web 3.0 wallets and all this so you should have control on all on all of your things it can be your wallet it can be your data images uh, anything so it should yeah. be permanently over there but you should own it yeah, so that's web 3.0 yeah exactly now when we are actually aware about what web 3.0 is but if so what if somebody wants to do something in the terms of promoting this web 3.0 or maybe producing some kind of a web in this category itself so what would be the procedure because some of the people are interested in techno technological things but right. they are not from the technological background itself right. so how they are going to do this gotcha. so you mean like uh, uh, i can conclude your question as that how someone can move into from a non-tech background or from uh, web yeah, 2 background exactly. to web 3 right yeah exactly so i would say uh, a web Three point is more about like ownership as i said and it's all about like blockchain space right so uh, someone is moving from the uh, uh, from the uh, non-tech space into the web 3 I would say like explore more about the uh, uh, technologies explore more about the blockchain fundamentals that what actually blockchain is how it works what is proof of stake what is proof of wealth how, how the things are uh, actually happening under the hood right what's actually happening how you actually connect to the blockchain so learn all these basic fundamentals of the blockchain and then move into the slowly 
if you want to move into the like uh, for example i define it in two two subsections if someone want to move into the technical space they can go and learn about like uh, uh, html uh, css javascript and all this kind of uh, yeah. languages which you use and moving into the solidity and for us to build smart contracts and then slowly move forward and explore more on top of it like uh, uh, deploying smart contract interacting with them so that's that's going to be a, like a technical background but if someone is like coming from a web 2.0 like i would say traditional finance thing yeah. so it's coming from like a sbi bank or kind of like these kind of banks and coming into the defi space decentralized finance so w- what they will do so they should come in and explore more about the same like blockchain yeah. fundamentals then explore about that what kind of a different like read about white paper read about tokenomics and then actually explore give your expert advice on the financial things happens in this space like decentralized finance like what are tokens uh, understand what are tokens what are uh, what is staking right what are, what are these proof of work is proof of uh, staking things and all understand the space read about tokenomics contribute to tokenomics things yeah. and that's how you will move into this slowly into this space and once you are in here reading about all these things learn about all these things you will get submerged yourself Definitely. in this space and we will keeping exploring yeah agreed uh, now sir we all know that in this world everything has some pros and cons definitely right. so what are the pros and cons of this web 3.0 uh one thing which i would say that we are early right okay. uh, in web 3.0 uh, there's a there's a huge development is going on every every single day uh, as being in the uh, space uh, uh, like every every week every month i get to know about a new blockchain which is coming to the space they are solving a specific problem like use case specific blockchains application specific blockchains are coming in and everyone actually uh, exploring the space yeah. to uh, uh, bring more uh, adoption on top of on top of their protocols yeah. so uh, like pros are like it's decentralized immutable and distributed but cons are still there is a lot of uh, requirement in the education space there is a huge gap left in between the education i would say because you say like it's still where like when google pay came in it was really easy for people non tech yeah. people to use it but right now it's very hard for non tech people to use a metamask wallet which is like a uh, web3 wallet right so there is a huge gap left in between the education which is a con so uh, improving the education system will bring more adoption on top of it and still all the technologies which are in here are not like uh, totally which we can rely on we still need more technologies more companies to develop on yeah. around the web3 space so yeah, yeah. that's kind of thing also <laughs> yeah definitely sir so moving ahead my question to you would be what this nft means now we have been hearing about it since a long time and personally if i somebody ask me what nft is i would be answering non fungible token but what right. non fungible token is i even don't know so i want you to explain it sure so nft is like one of the most buzzword around the web3 space if you are on twitter if you are on yeah. uh, instagram or if you are any <laughs> any other social media platforms you must have been heard about nfts so as you said nft is non fungible token so the uh, explanation is in itself right so non fungible means a kind of a token which can't be like copied or like which can't be transferred to yeah. someone as a copy right and uh, which can't be like break down into into small parts like that right and only one 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 person i would say in the terms of web3 only one wallet can link to it okay. so that is non fungible right uh, yeah. for example if there is a no, nft of a of monkey or a crypto punk then the, that nft can only be hold by me and i can trade it further but that's not something that i can share with someone as well right so that's nft okay. yeah. so sir uh, now when we know that what nft is my question is uh, what is the processing how does this uh, nft works how a common person like me can actually be you know have some positive sides of this nft have some um, maybe some contribution through it or maybe some kind of a benefit through it gotcha so uh, nfts uh, like from the developers background there are a bunch of ways to create nfts like yeah. with smart contract with nft marketplaces nft airdrop but i will i will keep it to uh, non tech thing as okay, you mentioned yeah. so yeah so we'll be talking about like uh, if you are an art creator if you are a, uh, if you are someone who actually create uh, arts and you want to convert them into nfts uh, yeah. so like what do you can do like there are a bunch of platform which actually are really uh, user friendly like opensea and all they actually give you uh, accessibility 
to uh, uh, go through these uh, platforms easily and check out them and upload your create your NFTs in just two or three minutes, right? Yes. And across different blockchains like Ethereum, Polygon, Solana, so they give you like a large number of uh, options to do that. And it's actually and they have a good documentation as well to do that. So if a person like you, which is yeah. from non-tech background, right, and w- want to move into the uh, NFT space, go explore the first. I would say do your own research on uh, okay. on these platforms. Uh, do NFT uh, research about NFTs and create your NFTs on OpenSea. Like they have like a couple of play, uh, marketplaces have a platform like Testnet as well. Yeah. So they can do it on Testnet as well. Yeah. Like so you can play around that and go create your NFTs. Yeah. That will be a really beneficial way. And uh, before investing, like people say that invest in NFTs. I won't say invest in NFTs, but I would say like before buying any 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 NFT, if you um, uh, if you think that that will bring a value something to it always do a research on top of it that will actually bring a benefit to you so for example if you're taking nfts as a trading thing yeah. so do your own research before uh, jumping into this space yeah exactly i agree this research work is very much necessary it's not just that that research is necessary in the field of nft only but also in the education field or some other field research work is very necessary i guess okay. so uh, now next moving ahead we have a question that what is the worth picking this nft into the supermarket right so nft is picking into the supermarkets because like firstly i would say uh, there are a bunch of nft projects are coming in they're cricket creating like a lot of hype around it right and every nft project want to be successful i uh, Right, and that's that's something uh, usual. It's a human nature. Everyone wants to doing something. They want to get successful, right? So there are a bunch of projects. They they are actually exploring the space with uh, different use cases of yeah. NFTs, right? And NFTs are not just limited to art or collectibles. They are there are different use cases like uh, music, games, yeah. uh, uh, identity, and uh, and bunch of others, right? So there are different use cases. So these use cases also actually helping out, uh, helping out in uh, bringing NFTs to the. Yeah. Uh, uh, to the adoption as well as like the all all these new projects are launching on these main nets yeah. these nft projects are really really bringing uh, influential thing to it and uh, yeah I, I, I these are the main points i would say uh, which are yeah. actually uh, building a hype around it and rather than that uh, you know like whenever something comes in the space yeah. that's a human nature they everyone would explore it and the investing thing like people are actually taking it as an investment yeah. so that's also one one of the concern that uh, people want to raise more yeah. money very exactly. uh, very early so yeah. these are the things okay. i think so my last question to you would be any kind of suggestion or advice you would like to give our audience regarding web 3.0 or maybe regarding the nft um, I think I would go for uh, Web3 uh, in, yeah. g- in general overall because NFT is just a use case. So uh, Web3, if you are from tech or non-tech background and want to move into the Web3 space, I would say uh, go and explore the uh, explore the space first, explore the blockchain fundamentals and then move into the space, right? So exactly. that's, how, that's how I would prefer to say. Uh, do your own research, learn blockchain fundamentals and then sl- decide or you want to go in non-tech you want to get into a tech, tech. and then yeah. decide your way that and explore like firstly do everything on uh, research, research and then before it's it's a it's a very uh, space with like bunch of uh, uh, like there are a bunch of spamming things also happening yeah. around I would say so stay concerned and uh, yeah. think about it yeah that's I would say thank you so much sir thank you for being with us and I thank you all for watching this show aap jude rahiye the just junkies ke sath <laughs>